Consolidation test is used to determine the rate and magnitude of settlement in soils. The settlement values obtained by this test are due to primary consolidation only, which is 90% of the total consolidation. The results of consolidation test are very much helpful in the design of foundations. Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering and in this video we will learn how to draw compression curve from the test results of consolidation test and find value of pre-consolidation pressure and compression index. I have been given a question which states that following are the results of consolidation test on a sample of organic soil. You can see that pressure values are in the first column and change in the dial gauge reading are in the second column. Given that the initial height of the specimen is 20.6 mm, mass of dry specimen is 12 gram and area of specimen is 31.67 cm square and specific gravity of solids is 2.49. We have to plot the E log sigma prime curve which is the compression curve. Determine the pre-consolidation pressure and the compression index. First we will find the height of solids. Height of solids is given as HS is equal to mass of solids, mass of specimen divided by the area of specimen into specific gravity of solids into the density of water. So it will be 12 divided by 31.67 into 2.49 into 1, which is equal to 0 0.1522 centimeter or 1.522 mm. After getting the value of height of solids, now we will draw the compression curve. To draw the compression curve, we need to find the change in void ratio at different pressure intervals and for that we will use Excel. So let us move to Excel to do the required calculations. In Excel, you will first draw a table having six columns in which the first column will be the pressure values and second column will be the change in dial gauge reading in mm. Both of these are already given in the question. Third column is the final height which is equal to initial height minus change in dial gauge reading. So for pressure of 6 kilopascal, final height will be the initial height of the specimen which is 20.6 minus change in dial gauge reading which is 0 0.284. So you will select the uh, first row of final height at pressure of 6 kilopascal and then write equal. Then you will select the initial height of the specimen which is 20.6 or you can directly write 20.6 then after that you will write minus sign and then you will select the change in dial gauge reading at pressure of 6 kilopascal which is 0 0.284 and then press enter and you will get the final height of the specimen at pressure of 6 kilopascal for the next pressure which is 12 kilopascal initial height will be uh, the final height at 6 kilopascal which is 20.316 so you will write select this row and then write equal sign and then you will select this 20.316 value and then write minus then you will select the change in dial gauge reading at pressure of 12 kilopascal which is 0 0.150 and press enter and you will get the final height at pressure of 12 kilopascal to get the final height at rest of the pressure values you will select final height at 12 kilopascal and then you will drag it till the last row and Excel will automatically calculate the values for uh, value of final height for rest of the pressure values. Height of solids we have just calculated and this is equal to 1.522. So you will write equal sign and then write 1.522. This is the height of solids. Since height of solids is same for all the pressure values. So you will select the first row and then drag it till the last row and you will get the values for uh, different pressures. Now height of voids, this is equal to the final height minus the height of solids. So for pressure of six kilopascal, uh, you will select the first row and then at equal sign, then you will select the final height at pressure of six kilopascal, which is 20.316, then write minus sign and subtract it the height of solids which is 1.522 and press enter and you will get the height of voids at pressure of 6 kilopascal. Uh, to get the value of height of voids for rest of the pressure select the first row and then drag it till the last row and you will get the height of voids for rest of the pressure values. 
void ratio this is equal to the height of voids divided by height of solids so for the first row you will write equal sign then select height of voids at pressure of 6 kilopascal divide it by height of solids which is 1.522 and then press enter and you will get the void ratio at pressure of 6 kilopascal for rest of the pressure values select the first row and then drag it till the last row and you will get the wide ratio at different pressure values after getting the value of wide ratio at different pressure values we will plot a graph between the pressure value and the wide ratio values with pressure values on log scale and void ratio value on natural scale to get the compression curve now to draw the uh, compression curve you have to make a table in excel having two columns the first column will be the pressure values and second column will be the void ratio values then to draw the compression curve you will select the values and then you will click on the insert then you will click on the charts and you will select this that is scatter with straight line and markers and this will give you a graph between the pressure values uh, and the void ratio values first you will delete this chart title and then click on this plus sign then you will add the axis title for horizontal axis uh, you will write the pressure in kilopascal and for the vertical axis uh, you will write wide ratio since for uh, compression curve pressure values uh, need to be on the logarithmic scale so you will select the horizontal axis and you will change it to the logarithmic scale okay after that you will also make this uh, tick marks visible for major type as cross and minor type as inside and also you will uh, uh, change the color of this axis to make these uh, tick marks more uh, visible so change it from gray to black and increase the weight to one point you can now see the values similarly for the vertical axis you will select the vertical axis change its color from gray to black and increase the width to one point and in the axis option you will take the we can see that we uh, no uh, value of void ratio is less than six so we'll write the minimum as 5 and maximum will be 13 and also for units you will take the minor one as 0 0.5 and you will again make the tick marks visible for major type as cross and minor type as inside you can now see that this is our compression curve you can increase the size of the compression curve to see the graph more clearly okay so this is our required compression curve to get the value of pre-consolidation pressure uh, from this compression curve we have to select a point on this curve that will have the having the maximum curvature so the point having the maximum curvature on this point that is this point this point is having the maximum curvature you will first draw a horizontal line so draw a horizontal line on this point having the maximum curvature or minimum radius of curvature after drawing the horizontal line also you will draw a tangent at this point so draw a tangent at this point then you will bisect the angle between the horizontal and the tangent so bisect the angle okay after bisecting the angle you will extend the straight line portion of this graph this is the straight line portion of the graph so we will extend it so extend this straight line portion of the graph and we can see that this will 
touch this uh, bisector at some point okay the point where it uh, touches this bisector from this point you will draw a vertical line so draw a vertical line from this point the point where this vertical line touches the horizontal axis gives you the value of pre-consolidation pressure so we can see that the first value this value is 100 kilopascal and the second value is 200 kilopascal this point falls between 100 and 200 kilopascal and it's close to 200 uh, kilopascal so it's roughly equal to 185 kilopascal so you can see that the value of pre-consolidation pressure for this soil is 185 kilopascal if i summarize the concepts of finding the pre-consolidation pressure first uh, you will select the point having the maximum uh, curvature or minimum radius of curvature from this point you will draw a horizontal line also you will draw a tangent at this point then you will bisect the angle between the horizontal line and the tangent line after that you will extend the straight line portion of the uh, curve the point where this uh, extended part touches the bisector from that point you will draw a vertical line at the abscissa uh, of this uh, vertical line where it touches the horizontal axis will give you the value of pre-consolidation pressure which in this case is 185 kilopascal after finding the pre-consolidation pressure next step is finding the compression index which is defined as the slope of the linear portion of the virgin part of the pressure void ratio curve on a semi-log plot with pressure on log scale it is given as e1 minus e2 divided by log of sigma 2 divided by sigma 1 where this e1 minus e2 is the change of void ratio for virgin part of compression curve and this log of sigma 2 divided by sigma 1 is the change of effective stress for virgin part of compression curve so for our compression curve the uh, virgin part of the compression curve first uh, void ratio is 9.653 at the pressure value of 200 kilopascal and second void ratio is 6.145 at pressure value of 400 kilopascal so the value of compression index is 9.653 minus 6.145 divided by log of 400 divided by 200 which is 11.65 you can see the value of compression index is too high which shows this is an organic soil so our soil is an organic soil this video showed you the detailed procedure how to uh, plot compression curve get the value of pre-consolidation pressure and compression index from the results of consolidation test i hope you guys learned something new from this video and found this video helpful if you like uh, this video, please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.